Hey guys, it's Ida15 here. Ida here with another video this time, and we're back with another Power Rangers Light Collection figure review, and we're viewing the the Zeo Gold Ranger made from Power Rangers Zeo, and this is actually the Trey of Altar version, and just to kind of get it out of the way, because this isn't the one from the, the Jason 2 back from the San Diego Comic Con, and I think that's getting... I, I forgot the last time I might check how much that cost, but I'll, I'll get into that a little bit later. Later, so here we're just taking a look at the box real quick, and we're just got basically our typical thing. At least until like new figures with their plastic free, free packaging, so we won't have the window and or even the plastic like, um, thing stuff or oven side. I forget what they called it. I mean, line collection Zeo Gold Ranger right here. Or, or, uh, and, and yeah, Zeo Gold right that there. The logo right here again. Tom Whalen artwork last. Also, we're not gonna see that that, that anymore. Also, Zeo Gold on this side, gold on top. Nothing too much on the bottom, and then look at the. And then the back just has a shot of the figure, and again, it looks pretty good. Now that's enough of the box. Now let's go over. It's going over some accessories. We're just gonna get the portrait out of the way, and here is the the tray of altar head skulls again. The first, well, the first good. Uh, and kind of one of the Zeo Gold Rangers, but again, this is pretty much the the one that just brought the Zeo Gold powers and gave it to Jason and stuff like that. And he fell over. That's just great. And again, if you see my other ones, I I and so just to pop this on real quick to see. How this is because I haven't really popped it on at all. All and oh, and like I said, just, uh, come on. Now oh, you know, just forget. Here, here it is. What it looks like. It's hard to go on, and I'm afraid I'm gonna break the thing. And like I said, and then oh, I just. Realize there are some weird paint issues on the neck, but yeah, that's kind of how it looked like on the figure. I just don't want to risk it. It's, but yeah, there's just how it looks like on there. We do get it. Um, if I can, I can put this down for a minute and just get sure it doesn't fall over. We do get two pairs of hands. We got the. Open the holding hands and that are just packed already in the figure. And then we also have a pair of fists. Again, it's just kind of like a thing where we, we got away. We got in white most of the time with with the figures. Then we have the golden power staff in the open mode for mostly, I think, gold rush. And then again, the, the two pack did come with both. And then just to put it in the figure. In the hand, put all in the hands for a little bit. Like I said, there we go with that. Like I said, and if you get like a two pack, you have both the opened and closed versions. Like I said, with that, like I said, that looks pretty good. And then finally, we do have a effect piece, which is just the electrical like wrap around electrical piece that we, they came with Lord Zed for first time. Pretty sure that's what when the line collection started because I actually picked up. I, I tracked down like all four, four figures during, during when they first arrive on the scene. And yeah, there it is just wrapped around. Again, it's not great. It's like I said, but it is. But yeah, that looks pretty good. And, and yeah, well. And and so yeah, that that's pretty good. And what. Well, other than well, accessories, now let's go with some pairs. Yeah. Someone, some more line collection figures is also gonna scale up with some other ones and stuff like that. That, but, but I just kind of wanted to go through some of the, the obvious ones and just kind of the ones I should just, just go over. We have, I know, with um, My Morphin Red, which is also Jason, and then also Tommy Zeo Red. I, at this point, I don't have any of the other Zeo Rangers. I see Zeo, um, Oh, Rangers, I still need to get um, the rest of the team being with Blue. With 
zero blue, black, green, yellow, and then also gonna get pink from that two pack, which is gonna be an absolute pain. I still think they should have had that single way, or at least a better two pack could have been in turbo pink and and tar and zero pink. And again, I still I I can still you guys have to agree with me on that, but yeah, I still need to do that. But side by side, all of both of these Rangers look pretty good uh, alongside gold. Old and yeah, that's pretty much it for our and yeah, that's pretty much it, it for the most parts. And I'm not gonna do any comparison, so let's just go on to our final. So, so here is Zeo Gold him, on himself, and yeah, this looks pretty good, like I said. And, and it looks pretty good, it's pretty much the same one we got when it's the Jason 2 pack. It's just we have a little bit less access, or at least, like I said, we'll go into the wall bit, but like I said, I I feel like that's the last time I checked, that was like a hundred and something dollars, maybe two hundred. And the only way I would probably get it is off of, of a Facebook group, which again, like I said, I'm not completely sure if anyone's selling their Jason 2 pack. Like I said, I would really like to get that Jason 2 pack just to get the armor red. Well, not only the armor red ranger, but also the, um, both, oh, both versions of the Zeo power staff, I just also to have that as Jason. I'm like, I could just have this as. It's Troy of Altar, but I just got this one just in case I don't get that two. If I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't get a chance to get the two pack if it gets too much. Which I, at this point, I don't think it is because that won't almost a same Comic Con exclusive from 2019, I think. It was either that or 2020, but it was just back at the the first, like the first Comic Con with the line collection stuff. But yeah, honestly, I should have learned how to purchase that's. Honestly, I should have learned, learned how to part parsage, um, parsage my own stuff back then. But yeah, like I said, this, this looks pretty good. As far as detail-wise, like I said, it probably looks the same, but, but since I haven't reviewed it, here it just has all the um, detailing as the, the, um, the well, on the chest piece. I do, I will say this has had some paints chipping, but mostly because it, this fell off the, my shelf that I had just, my Spider-Verse shelf, I had it up there for right now because I couldn't get to my line collection display. Like, and so I did get a little chipping on this part, but I might fix that. I might add like a shiny gold. This is still pretty good gold, but I, it, it's still better than the, the Legacy figure. But yeah, we got all that all the way around. We have like the, the molding right here. There's a little black, I will say say there's a little black smudge right on this arm. So I do have a few things. We do have a logo on the belt buckle. Normal in detailing around the boots, uh, on the cuff of the boots, and then we have just the gold right here again. Everything looks pretty good. Um, and then again, the same thing goes right here. The gold, and the cuffs around the gold has all the molding detail. There's some black, like I said. I might touch this up with some shiny gold just to give it some shine, some sheen or, or shine and stuff like that, but yeah. And then also the head sculpt is looking pretty good. Again, we have like the there's no there's no like um, smudges or misalignment of the of the symbol, and we do still have that no there's still that no neck thing. I think it still looks like a no neck thing. This isn't a real release one, but yeah. Again, all the detailing is detail is right here. Again, like I said, but now that's pretty much it for that. Now let's go over articulation and. And, and there was just um, Zeo Gold in a kind of posed hold on of the of power staff, the golden power staff, and and I just didn't, and this is kind of like the one I couldn't like, really think of because I didn't feel like getting out and bringing the Mayfax stand because currently has my has my Aspire figure on there with Renew Your Val the one from the Renew Your Vows two pack which I'm going to be reviewing very soon. Actually, it might be my next video. It's either going to be that Iron Spire or Brock Lesnar, but. Back with this review, I really, really do like this figure. Again, I, again, I, I will say my recommendations for this is, it looks pretty good. Again, it has the accessories it needs to be zero gold. I would like the other, the, the closed version of the, of the power staff. I the golden power staff. It doesn't bother me that much, but I still think it could have at least given us that for the most part. I don't know. Now, it's just one of those things, but again, do I recommend this? I only really recommend this if you didn't buy the 
the standard Comic Con two pack with armor red, which I think that's way expensive. If I, I but right now, I, again, I haven't really checked it. The last time it was like two hundred and something dollars, just basically over one hundred dollars. Again, that's the standard you know, Comic Con exclusive, and this is just kind of like the one of the ones you need to get. Okay. If this is kind of like the other go alternative. If, um, unless you get, and unless you get, unless you can buy the San Diego 2, Holocon 2 pack. That's kind of like my only thing. It's a pretty good alternative. If you, it doesn't really lose it by losing the, um, Jason 2, hence, because we kind of already got that with, we kind of already got that with our normal Red Ranger. So, if you, if you really feel bad, and you kind of, you can just kind of just put the head sculpt on here to act like it's Jason. You don't need to act like it's Trey Voltar, because, because again, they got they didn't really change the suit too much, because again, it was just Gold Ranger, or King Ranger if you want to go as Sentai thing, which you can this can work as your old Ranger display too. So that's kind of like another thing. But yeah, this is kind of like the, that's kind of like a thing. If you, if you can't buy the the Santa Comic Con two pack, I really do recommend this, which I think people are mostly gonna get this. I got this one because. I don't think and think I'm ever gonna get that two pack anytime soon, and I don't know if I'm gonna open it. I still want to keep one mint on box so I get signed by Austin St. John at some point if I go to a convention. Like I said, who knows when that'll be. But yeah, I do like this figure. I do recommend it, and that's for the most part. Again, you guys get the point. But remember to like this video, comment down below. What do you guys think of this figure? Do you think do you have the two pack the same and uh, Comic Con two pack? Do you? Were you able to buy it when they they appeared on Hasbro Pulse? Also, or do you think that you just went with this one because you just wanted to see your gold and you didn't, don't really care about the extra bits that came with that two pack? Act like I said. Just anything down below. Advice for the channel would be very. Any advice for the channel like, and stuff like that would be very appreciated. Click this right button. Click tap that bell to keep up with more videos. Like I said, I'm gonna get. The I'm gonna get the, the review for the uh, uh, the Iron Spire, either the the Evans two pack, a few more like auction, and rest, also I'm gonna be reviewing the old edition Brock Lesnar and a whole bunch of um, more legends that are on on the back burner, and a bunch of um, diary figures I just gotten recently. But all that is gonna be happening. Click the share button to beat the algorithm and. To, I want to get up to 500 subscribers or 800 subscribers before the end of the year. And this is size 15, Golden Wire, Wire Kicking, out of here. And having a gold watch. That's another thing. This is pretty much the same as our ones. We have a move, head moves up that far, this far down, side to side. Um, arms can go up this far. Or and do a T pose. And we do have a bicep swivel. And these also go 360. These. They are, you can't, well, at least like that, it's a little hindered by the chest piece, the armor, but again, it is a soft plastic. Bicep swivel, double joint elbows, like, and double joint elbows, elbows, wrist can rotate, and they do hinge up and down. And have crunches go. Oh, and dive front joint goes in this far, in this far back for your back flips. Go this far. You can also kick this far to do your round and, and to do your kicks. This I think Trey did, but also I'm but also Jason did. And we have a thigh cut, jaw joint, and knees, knees, not elbows, just the. Just unlike I did yesterday with my Ron Reigns figure review. And then we have a boot swivel. And then a hit. And then a the feet can go down that far and this far. And this far up. And then we do have a beautiful angle pivots. Just everything you need for zero gold to be zero gold, either being Trey or Jason. This kind of works as both. Both though.